Well, about the time you're closing in on your fourth wall, you really have to consider the doorway because you don't want to build a box and not be able to get in to get to your tools or to finish it or whatever. Anyway, you got to get a door in it. And the door I'm using is this one right here. This is a door that came off of my back porch when I remodeled it. It was the entryway door, so I like the look. It didn't cost me anything, so that's the door I'm using. I'm taking the frame here, and it's from here to here. Outside measurement is 32 inches, so I want to make a 2x4 frame around it, just like a you know to, to set this case in. So it's got to be inside measurement 32 to 32. So if I cut, make sure I have that size of a hole in the front here, when I get done, then I'll be able to walk in and out and finish it and get it solid. And later when I go to put the door in, it'll be no problem. Now we'll be able to get through the door. When doing the doors, you really got to look closely at what you're doing. I mean, there, there's a few times in this, even in pallet projects, where you have to get full size dimensional lumber. Like, for example, that's not much of a wall up there. See that space up there? That's the only meat in the middle of this wall to keep it from flopping around. And with pallets, when you hook them together, you, get, you have this problem here. Silly man. Just like that you've really got to do something about that you can see here on the other side this is the same joint look how solid that is doesn't I mean it moves a little bit because I don't have the roof on yet I used a piece of dimensional lumber and I ran it all the way up to the top up there um, where I have another one you're gonna like this I took a piece of 2 by 4 and as you can see there I sharpened the end of it and I drove it through the, the pallets all the way across. So you've got a two by four that runs almost the full width. If it was an actual eight footer, I would have, but it's a wall stud, so it's a little shorter. But you can see the end of it sticking out here, flush with the wall, and then it goes all the way through. You can probably see it better from inside. You can see it there. That's the top of the door opening. But it also serves to steady the, the wall to keep it from flopping around. Make it nice and stable. You saw how wobbly and unstable this wall is. Watch how just the strategic placement of a couple of pieces of wood just totally straightens this mess out. go just like that solid doesn't flop around and when it moves the whole building moves once we get the roof on this thing it'll be just the way it should be